Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial to show you how I did my um, LED eyes, oh not LED really, but EL sheet eyes for my Iron Man helmet. Um, first thing I've got here is an inverter. This is um, used to convert a direct current from a natural battery, um, hooked up to the inverter. Uh, it to basically just converts it into an AC current, which is required for any EL um, uh, devices, where it's an EL wire like this one here, or whether it's an EL sheet. Uh, I have a little bit of my EL sheet that I use for my eyes left over. A bit too close there. You can see he's got the two poles right on the edge there. But I'll basically show you the uh, inverter running. So I'll just hook that mobile battery up so you can see the EL wire is going off. Um, the other ends, there's actually got two outputs from this inverter. The other one's just going to these crocodile clips. Now I had a bit of problems with getting the uh, connection to the EL sheet because you can't solder directly to these points because it basically just melts through. So what I did was I used staples. Uh, I basically stapled through the two poles and then put up a bit of glue to hold them steady and then soldered onto the staples. Um, it works uh, very well, and I'll show you the inside of my helmet in a second. Let's get this hooked up. So, as this AC current coming out of the inverter, it doesn't matter which way around, you get these two poles set up. But, I'll just hook these up. It's not connected to the battery at the moment. You've got to be careful with that because the AC current will give you a nasty shock. And I've had quite a few when I was getting this set up. Okay, please look okay. So if I reconnect the battery, and now you can see the lights coming from there. Off, on, off, on. So basically, what I did for mine was I encompassed it in a box, put a switch on mine. Uh, the switch basically runs between the the connection of my battery, basically on one, either one of these b before the inverter. Um, I've actually doubled up the battery power on mine. Um, I've actually got a 9 volt battery within within this encasing, uh, and I've added another one just coming out, so I can actually double up the power because I didn't think it was bright enough. Let me just put that one off. I actually made this little crossover, so I could still use a single cell if I wanted to. Let's reconnect that. It's hard to do it one-handed. So that's a single power. Single 9 volt battery. Disconnect that crossover. Reconnect it to the extra 9 volt battery. Now that's double. Now the inverter does give off a high pitched tone. I'm not sure whether you can hear that through my camera, but it does give off a high pitched tone, and that's why I've got all of this encompassed in a separate box rather than within the helmet. And it's a bit clunky as well, because obviously you've got. I've got an inverter just like that inside here, as well as a 9 volt battery and one just um, held on the outside of some rubber bands. Now I got I got this um, inverter when I bought this. This is just an EL wire which I got off a computer modding uh, website a couple of years ago. Um, I don't know what kind of power I should be putting through this. But it seems to hold, uh, well, it seems to allow 2 9 volts. So it's, it's allowing 18 volts through it fine uh, to power my LED sheet. Um, I'll quickly show you how it's all running. So I've got some orange wire coming out of here. It's an AC current, so I don't really need to know which one's which when it comes out of here. I'll quickly show you the inside of my helmet. So you can see the, if I hold it there, there's a small slit on the bottom of each, which allows me to actually still see when I'm wearing the helmet. Over. Oops. You can see just about the two ER sheets held in place. Um, the sort of um, electrical tape held on the back of those uh, to make sure it's well insulated so I don't shock myself in the face when putting it on and off. And um, you can see, that's what you can see. Yeah, I'm try taking it off a bit. But there is a, a wire holding it in place there with a little connection so I can still take it off. And there is enough flex in it so that when I get a do hit, get a hinge, I can put it. It will go up and down, and still stay connected. So that's about it. So if you guys have any further questions, um, I will post um, the uh, link to this EL sheet I bought. I think it's about five pounds from a website called rswww.com. 
Uh, they do like electrical components and bits and pieces like that. I think they'll probably sell inverters, but I didn't need obviously need one because I had some. Um, but um, I'm sure they do those as well. Um, so if you guys have any questions, let me know.